Hi girls, Sally here from Bridalicious. Now if we accept that eating well and exercise equals health success, then why aren't we all walking around in our healthiest bodies? As a society we're not getting any less intelligent, why then as women do we repeatedly embrace the weight loss roller coaster ride and dizziness of yo-yo dieting? Why is Australia one of the fattest nations in the world with 66% of the population being overweight or obese? Why for the average 12 month gym membership do we only use it less than 30 times in that 12 month period, most of it that being in the first three months? Why do only 1% of Australian women regard themselves as beautiful? And why do over 80% of the population that try diets fail? In other words, they either don't lose weight, they lose it, put it all back on and often plus some. The reason is, is health success is about the why, not the what of health. And the why is found in creating a vision for your health. Having a strong conscious desire to be healthy and in your best body is not enough. We need to speak to our subconscious, which better understands images and vision. Trying to succeed at your health by sheer willpower alone is like trying to stop a moving train with your pinky. It's near impossible. As much as we have conscious desires to be healthy, you know, I want to be fit and healthy, I want to lose 10 kilos, I want to be strong and toned and fit and have a life of vitality. You know, the tip of the iceberg is those conscious desires that we have. So it's important that we don't neglect the subconscious, that we actually address it through creating a vision for our health. One of my favourite quotes defines happiness as this. Using your gifts and your passions to serve a cause greater than yourself with little pleasures dotted along the way. In other words, when you can contribute to the world in a way that you love and a way that you're good at, then you can find happiness and fulfillment in your everyday life, not just on the weekends or on holidays. Few people actually stumble upon this outcome by chance. Rather, it comes from identifying your core values and then choosing to live a life that lines up with those values and serves your compelling why. I believe true happiness comes from living out your why. And true happiness contributes mightily to true and long-lasting health. As much as I'd love to gloss over the head and heart stuff, I just can't. I know too well from both personal and academic experience that the head and the heart lead the body. I don't know your history with health or weight loss, nor do I know how you feel about your body. However, I know when it comes to feeling thrilled about our bodies, only 1% of Australian women regard ourselves as beautiful. Therefore, it's safe to say 99% of us are either moderately or grossly discontent with, the, with our bodies, which is the home we get to live in every day. So with this in mind, I feel like my role as your transformation coach is this, to help you and support you to look deeper, to look beyond the number on the scales or the, the number on your tape measure, or even the feel of your clothes. These are just symptoms of the lifestyle choices you've made. I want you to instead to cast a vision of who you wanna be, and start taking 100% responsibility from this day forward in aligning your thoughts and actions to actually becoming that person. And if you take the time to actually discover and define your compelling why, then watch it consume you rather than you trying to strive to achieve it. To help you in this journey of actually discovering your why, here are a few must do transformation tasks. So number one, create a vision for both your health and your marriage. So answer the following question in the present tense. You're standing at the aisle, looking towards your new husband, take a deep breath and smile. What would you have to have done and who would you have to be in order to be a bride that's completely confident and delighted in her own skin and ready to walk into marriage? So an example might be, I'm overwhelmed with joy as I stand at the aisle feeling terrific in my wedding dress. I've lost 10 kilos from exercising twice a week with my trainer and eating an abundance of live, fresh, natural foods. My skin is radiant, having eaten well, kept hydrated and followed a skin fitness regime. I feel full of vitality, relaxed and confident, having scheduled me times during this busy wedding lead up, plus surrounded myself with positive people. I know I can carry this body and these positive feelings on into my marriage and become a fit wife for life. So personalise it, make it yours, make it as though you've already achieved it and cast that vision of who you're becoming. So if you're not a bride, maybe you're a bridesmaid, maybe, you, maybe you're the mother of the bride, then you might want to ask yourself this health vision in a different way. So ask yourself this question and answer it in the present tense. It's whatever date you set for yourself, three months down the track, 12 months down the track. 
you're walking down the street in your local area and you bump into, of all people, you. What would you have to have done and who would you have to be in order to be someone you'd be delighted to meet? Something that actually gets you really excited because it's so much more motivating when you can reflect on who that is, that vision of who you're being or who you're becoming. When the alarm goes off early in the morning, it's cold, the, you know, the cozy dunas are holding, pinning you to the bed um, and nothing in you wants to actually roll out of bed. But if you can actually cast that vision, it helps you um, take the actions required to actually get to that person. Okay, so next step is to create a vision board to accompany your vision statement. So this is a collection of images that actually capture who you want to be and what you want to feel like as you're walking down that aisle and also into marriage. Or if you're not a bride, then you can do that for the date that you specified on your vision statement. And be brave, share your vision board on Facebook to inspire others to actually follow through and set a vision for themselves, but also to keep you accountable to your own vision. Uh, or if you like, you could create a Pinterest page or a pin Pinterest board. And if you like, there's some inspiration on the Bridalicious Pinterest page that you can check out as well. Okay, so now that you've actually created your why through your health vision and your health board, it's time to move on to my next video, which is all around goal setting and an action plan.